Don't go all shy because there's cameras here. Well, it's oh, from beating it's out already. the way in. Good afternoon. How are you doing? You good? I'm good. And you? Yeah, yeah. Very well. See the way they've got City on the telly, though? One that they, one that they got right. <laughs> There's loads of people, Stephen, that will have been part of, of your growing up process that would have had a big influence on, on you being the success that you were as a player. Yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of familiar faces about. I miss this place, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. And I do get a, a special feeling and a buzz coming back. I love the people here, I love the environment, and there was no better place to come to work. I think from a fan's point of view and people from the outside, you don't realise the amount of work and effort that you know, people behind the scenes do. And it's all for, you know, first team results. There she is. Come on, look. I'm dead busy. I'm coming in for you in a minute. No. You and your mates, you best uh, God help us. get ready. No. Here they are. There it is. Good boys. How are you? Okay. How are you doing, buddy? you good? Nice to see well. you. Take a seat. Stephen, this is an office where the light is always on. Two of the hardest working lads at Melwood, I think most people would agree. Yeah, 100%. Uh, and I seen that firsthand when I was here as a player. Um, always available, no matter what hour in the day. I was one who had to sort of adapt to analysis because I didn't really have much of it in the earlier days. And it was like a breath of fresh air, having a, you know, a, a place in the environment where you could go on your own or you could go with a unit if you like and ask as many questions as you want and see the game back in all kinds of different angles and from a learning point of view it's absolutely valuable. We are a part of the decision making process. Our job really is to provide enough help and support and evidence both from a team perspective and to the individuals for the coaching staff to ultimately make the decision and I think this is the big, the big thing from your side as a player to now being a manager is you spend hours and hours and hours behind the scenes mm. going through lots of, you know, from our side, video or information, and then it's filtering that down to what the player can the take on. That you so there's a lot of times where we will do, you know, and this is part of our job, we have to accept it, we'll do countless hours of work to turn around for one video clip, or sometimes it might not even get shown. But as you said, the message then to get through to the players, and under Jürgen and his staff, this is probably one of the best things that they do in terms of, Take everything you can possibly give them and then just shorten that down to key messages, yeah. make it, you know, translated into what the player can do to help them. Real talk now, lads. What was he like to, to deal with? Was he demanding? Was he a pain in the backside? What was he like as a, as a player from an, an analytic point of, point of view? Be careful what you say. You're like, <laughs> careful what you say. Yeah, who's going to say this? <laughs> okay, for us, he was, without blowing smoke, he was brilliant. Um, it's always great to have a senior figure in the team who is so open to receiving information that will uh, allow all the other players to almost understand and see that it's okay for that to be the norm. So for you, obviously, you were the captain. You would always be seen around us and you'd be seen to be wanting information and to learn. I think you've got to be able to be thick-skinned and be able to deal with criticism. You can't come into it analysis department and expect it to all be, oh look at this, it was great, great, great. You've got to be prepared for these lads and sort of have the respect that they're looking at this stuff many, many hours of the day and they're going to find parts of your game. And if you can accept criticism but also realise that it's criticism constructively to try and improve you as a player. You, you know, sometimes you walk out of this room and you've seen something that isn't going to be great for the next couple of hours but you've got to move on pretty quickly and try and use it in your advantage for your next performance. How are you? You all right, Lee? You good? So this is the big one you wanted to do, Carol and Caroline. I'd love to see them get the stick out the way, because I'm sure it's coming. Where are they? They're hiding. Here they are. <laughs> Come on, then. Who's, who's getting the first cuddle? Caroline. Go on, have a... Come on. Don't go all shy, because there's cameras here. Well, oh, I can't beat them. It's got all red. <laughs> Come on. Just cuddle them. I won't let go. Come on. Come on. You all right? Yeah. You good? Yeah. Come on, your turn. What's new? Nothing really, few, we miss uh, you, that's all. You. What are the lads like? The new lads good? Lovely. Yeah, yeah every one of them every, are lovely. Everything that we're not, polite, respectful. Everything. Yeah? Yeah. A lot of Liverpool fans will have read about you two and seen pictures of you recently these as well. These are doing more press than me at the oh, moment. Yeah. Everyone's forgot about me and everyone's talking about these two. What were his demands like 
in the morning for breakfast. And do you have any particular dietary favourites, Stephen? I'm not sure I wanted to yeah. eat any of this. No, because they've just got everything, didn't they? Yeah. Spoiled, weren't we? Just an ordinary Liverpool lad, just like whatever we gave them. Didn't you, lad? It's like having, Abuse. having three <laughs> mums. I had one at home and then two when I come yeah. into work. You didn't say mums, you said three wives. Three wives, same thing. Because right? we used to same nag thing. them. Always moaning, always complaining. Is that an important part of it though, Stephen, on a serious level where, you know, when you're at the top of your game like you were, when you've got two ladies here who are ultimately very honest with you at times as well, sometimes they tell you if you weren't playing particularly well. Well, you know, these ladies and the people behind the scenes, they don't change, they don't change in terms of the result and stuff our moods change so you can be you can score a goal and get a win and come in and you can be on cloud nine these help bring you back down to earth and put your feet back on the ground or if you're down you've had a bad game you haven't played well these help pick you back up so they play a very important role not just for myself but for every player and and the members of staff because these create uh, an atmosphere in here that's always the same and it's very positive and it's a happy atmosphere and it, they make you feel like home whilst you're at work Real unsung heroes, aren't they? Of course they are, and um, as I say, I don't think they appreciate or realise the the role uh, and the job that they do to support first team players. And um, you know, the, the team and individuals can't play well or deliver results without the wider family uh, of the club, and, and that's what these people do. It's very important. It is nice to be the way you're. It's the first nice like thing it. I've said about these two. Mm -hmm. I know. It is, no, it is nice to be spoken about like that because. We just come in and get on with our job and that's it. I'd say the buzz is just coming into the lads and enjoying a laugh and joke with them and just have a ball with them. Yeah, it is. We're lucky to be in a job like this because you can have a laugh with you all. And like you say, if you're down, we always try to have a smile on That was on a lot with me, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because we used to say, oh God, he's got a face on him, go the other way. That was probably after the defeat, yeah, they used to avoid me, they used to avoid me. <laughs> Ads, what are these really like? Nightmare. <laughs> Nightmare. <laughs> Told you. Good afternoon. Yes. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? You good? I'm good, and you? Yeah, yeah. Very well, good. Do you have memories, Jürgen, of, of coming into Melwood for, for the first time and, and seeing some of those friendly faces, people who've been here a long time that were ready to greet you? One of my first meetings, I think, no, it was my first meeting with the whole, with the whole team I made downstairs in the press room mm -hmm. and I brought in all the people working here at Melwood because I didn't know them, obviously, but I was pretty sure that the players, that a lot of the players don't know them as well. So I let them walk through the press room mm -hmm. and uh, I said, do you know the name of all these people? And uh, not of all of them. So, but they all work for you all day, 24 hours. Are there for you, whatever you do, or however the last result was. And it's important that we have a relationship. You know, they're the people that you miss the most. You know, you see, I was here from 16 to 35 every day, and Carol and Caroline and Graham and the kit men and stuff. Um, they're the people you miss on the way out. So, they're, they're important always people. In a good shape. To be honest, even if you lose, it's, uh, yeah, when you come in there, st uh, especially yeah, normal, yeah. still already singing <laughs> <laughs> all the Beatles songs. Yeah. So um, is that important sometimes too, as well? Because you, you're around football people a lot. Is it important that sometimes the non-football people are the ones that bring a smile back to your face again when you when you're down? Coming in our cantina and the restaurant, it's it's um, they are really independent of of the results. So that's really important because. Um, it, so much pressure in the business, it's unbelievable and um, everything leads to this game. You win it, the sun is shining, uh, you lose it, for sure it will rain the next day and, and then everything is completely different. So it all changed with the results, so have this kind of consistency is really, really important and I love that. I love this place. And as you're finding as well, Stephen, in your job now, we count ourselves, don't we, all employees of Liverpool as being a, a family. How important is that when you're bringing through young players, the importance of being close, the importance of, of family values? Well, it's club values for me. We always say to the boys, you know, it's very important how you behave off the pitch. You know, it's important to the right impressions. For example, if they're down at Melwood, we want them to be respectful to the staff. They um, are. And, and the, same, the same in Kirby. You know, we want them to go into the canteen and, and treat the people like normal, like they would if it was their own family. I think it's very important in the game to be respectful and, and follow the values of your family but also the club as well. So we're very 
strict in that way that they show the right behaviour to the people and show respect because everyone is after the same thing and it's success for the first team and everyone needs to feel important and, and play a part to, for that to happen. We feel as a family, if I'm honest, so I feel that we here are our family. So that's, uh, we, we all work together, we all try to win together and everybody's doing his piece. So that's how it is. They are all on fire all the time. They have all a Liverpool heart like this. So, and we, we, we come in, go out, but they stay. So as a manager, usually you're in for a year or two. Uh, I'm already in two and a little bit more, but it's, um, it's not likely that it happens too often. So, but they really keep the standard. Uh, and um, so they are very important and we try to show it every day. It doesn't work every day, obviously, but um, we try then the next day again. Thanks very much for your time. Good luck for the Welcome. weekend.